You are the heroes, and that is why we are here today. Their faces reflect the passage of time. 20th Armor, he was with 3rd Armor Division. But their memories of May 8th, 1945 are vivid. Everybody went wild that night, and it was wonderful. So I'll never forget that day. I just remember people were, were happy, you know, and celebrating. <laughs> The ceremony at the World War II Memorial brought a Navajo code talker from New Mexico and other veterans from across the country, including those aboard an honor flight from Wisconsin. I hit the jackpot. I didn't realize it was going to be this extensive. 95-year-old <laughs> Nona Hagen was in the Women's Army Corps, which General Douglas MacArthur once called his best soldiers. The men didn't always appreciate that. Those that had nice, soft, cushy jobs, we took them, you know, <laughs> and they had to go off to war. For many of these veterans, this was their first visit to the World War II Memorial, and they became a living history lesson for generations to come. Thank you for your service. It's just great to see people that like, gave back for our country. It's just like really it's, like breathtaking. The veterans won't soon forget this day, and neither will the teenagers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a day that united history and heroes. The people of this nation will never forget our World War II veterans. Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9.